Hey guys, we are under a severe thunderstorm warning, unfortunately, right now. So, um, but I decided I'm going to still show you guys what I got in the mail. I got some awesome stuff today in the mail. Let's go and get started. Let's start with the, the first five are beta cassettes. I'm going to start collecting betas more often. I got a fabulous, fabulous, fantastic deal on beta maxes. I got five beta maxes. Um... Let's go ahead and start with those. They are ultra rare, guys. Prepare. All of them are from the 80s. Columbia Pictures Home Entertainment Clamshell. My first one. Breakout. Even though it's a beta cassette. I can't play it yet. Until I get my beta player. Hopefully for Christmas. I also plan to get more beta cassettes for Christmas. <coughs> Bless me. Uh, limited warranty. Look at that. I would have gotten ripped off on eBay for one of these pamphlets. I, ha I got this for... Super cheap, like one or two dollars max per tape. And here's the tape itself. This was an excellent deal. Property of 10 video, 3302 Gallatin Road, Nashville, Tennessee. It says made in the USA on the back. Pretty cool. Oops. The Stuntman from Magnetic Video. And guys, you may hear some thunder. Ooh. Heard that one, I'm sure. Yeah, we, we are under a thunderstorm right now in the area. Coming to America with Eddie Murphy. Printed in the, let's see, 18th week of 1989. So it's an early pressing. Case a little messed up on this one, but it's not bad. Not that bad. I have the regular VHS copy of it too. This is the Betamax. I have the Betamax now too. I think this. I think this actually comes in. Look at this. This comes in the almost the reg. Look in the regular size box. Huh. I wonder why Embassy did that. Sticker label and the end label here. There might be a print underneath this, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna check it or not. Cause I don't want to end up ruining it for nothing. I'm I'm debating if I should or not. Sorry, it's kind of hard to put back in because look at that. It's in a regular size. What the heck? Even though it has beta on the side. They should have put it in a smaller box, honestly. NBC was lazy at the time. Oh, well. Still really nice. Still can't really go wrong with it. Hopscotch. An Amco NBC film. This is also a magnetic video Betamax. This is from 1981. Sticker label and end label. It's on a B cassette. Alright, those are the five Betamax I got today. Fantastic. Now let's get to the VHS. Single VHS. Demo tape of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Ultra rare. Got it for $13 off of eBay. Top. Here's the back. Title's actually embossed here. And the outlines of the characters are embossed slightly. Couple cracks in the lens. Other than that, the tape looks good. This part and that. Uh, my parents are vacuuming my sister's room. Two print dates, June 18th, 1989, and May 12th, 1989. Interesting. This has two print dates. Nice. I'm so keeping this tape. The other print date is actually printed right there. Fantastic. We got Julia and Julia. This is the UK import. Rental or resale. Sony make believe. 
go ahead and unseal this one. This is the only sealed one, by the way, we have. Should have probably showed this one last like I usually do, but eh, it's okay, you know? I don't always have to go in order. I didn't feel like going in order this time. White disc! How interesting is that? Here in America it was a clear disc. They did white discs, a white disc overseas. <laughs> Pardon that, that was stupid. <laughs> uh, dang it. Um, anyways... Has the Ireland rating. That was an epic fail moment a second ago. I did not intend anything gross, obviously. I did not intend anything gross. <laughs> Pardon that. That was actually unexpected. That was an accident. Transformers Dark of the Moon. Yeah, this film really sucks balls, but I only got it because this was the cheapest Australian DVD I've ever seen. It was three bucks and free shipping on eBay came from the UK, so I was like, yeah, I'll keep it. It's Region 4, because it's from Australia. It says it even has auto-descriptive, so it's not bad, I guess. Clear disc. I decided to just go ahead and get it. Yeah, I was like, what the heck? I might as well, even though the film sucks garbage so bad, but I decided I'll get the Australian DVD. The last two are also Australian DVDs. I got them for $10 each. I like around 10 $12 each. Madagascar Escape to Africa. Again, for collective purposes, not a fan of this movie. This is the Australian import. I'm going to have to watch the openings to these uh, tonight or tomorrow. Thanks for your purchase. Please contact me if you're unhappy at all, which I am not. I'm extremely happy. And if you are satisfied, which I am, please leave great feedback. I sure will. <laughs> In return, I will leave you great, great feedback. Here is the disc. Has artwork, unlike the American version. Oh my God! This has artwork overseas. Nice. So oh yeah, it's, that's pretty good. And the last one I have to show. Bedtime Stories, the Australian import DVD. Titles embossed. Outlinings are embossed here. Uh, the balloons are embossed, which is awesome. Adam Sandler's name is embossed too, which I think is pretty fantastic. And this is was very cheap. It was like ten, eleven dollars. So yeah, look at that. I love the spine. How they did that. They also did that in the UK. They did it in Australia as well. Just so you guys know, they did it in Australia also. English auto descriptive. Hey hey hey, we got auto descriptive in this one too. Awesome. And let me see if this one does. It says English um, commentary track, and it says English commentary, so I'm assuming that's the same thing. That also means auto-descriptive. They just ordered it differently, so I'm sure that one does have auto-descriptive, too. has the same note right there. Look at that. Pretty plain right here. It has the Walt Disney Studios logo and then the Fast Play logo. Here's the boring gray disc. Why didn't they at least put the main artwork? That would have been fine, but... Ugh. Ah, well, you know companies like to trip us with that nowadays. They have been doing that the last 10 years or so. And really been punking us. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a fantastic update. Very happy with what I got here. Got some amazing stuff. That is way cheaper than I would have ever expected to pay for them. Fantastic deals. Um, I have the American DVD of Julie and Julia as well. Julie and Julia. Um, who from Roger Rabbit right here. Demo tape. And my fave, my five beta maxes, which will be shown right here. Sides here. I will see you guys in the next video. I'll call this... Oh, oh, shoot. Dropped him. I'll call this beta, VHS, and DVD update. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.